Hello. Hello out there. That's me. This? No, this is. <laughs> Remembering how to stream. Hello. No, I'll leave him. You've said that before. You've said once. We got to get rid of Kirby and now. Yeah, but leaving? now he's blocking my face, so oh it's, my it's chill. Gosh. Hello, everybody. It's cool and chill. Been a long time. Hi, gamers. We're live. Yes, barely. This is my uh, short do debut. Oh my god. Yeah, that was so long ago. But we haven't streamed it. I was just I, like, I realized watching, looking at myself on here, I was like, my hair's shorter. <laughs> <laughs> By about 12 inches. Isn't that exciting? Very fun. How's everybody? Thank you, of course, for the level two hype train. As You're Julie welcome. said, while I was trying to like, be like, well, wow, look, we got a level two hype train. Julie goes, yeah, we haven't streamed in forever. Of course there's a hype train. <laughs> No, nah, but it's, all these it's still valid. It's still worth celebrating. And Thank I mean, you all. At the end of the day, what was the major reason for the hype train? Glory donating those bits. Because that's... You, you, if you just have a bunch of subs, I don't think you get a hype train. You need, like, the cross. You need both. Mm -hmm. So, Glory giving the bits was the key. So, let's go through that really quick. Rinks with a 27-month sub. Coming in with the first... With the first drop, right, like literally like 10 seconds before Sam could say something. And Sam was devastated by it. Um, and then we got Viddy with the 14 month resub, gamers. Hello, Viddy. Glory with that aforementioned 200 biddies. Thank you so much. And burn. Yeah. With the Me. 27 month sub. All heroes in my book. It's like the... I saw someone recently talking about that. I think it was like I watch a podcast and like... The host's wife donated something and they were like... They, they like put up a meme and it was like someone handing money to themselves in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Me paying Nate his little allowance. Here you go. Through, through my Twitch subs. <clears throat> Hi everybody! Hi gamers! How is everybody? Rinks, what are you having? You're making breakfast. Oh, breakfast time. Classic. I love whenever we would go live and Rinks is like, I just woke up or <laughs> I'm eating breakfast. Lots of hard work over in the Rinks factory these days. Incredibly. Uh, if you don't know, Rinks was in a the Ludum Dare game jam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I still don't know. Do you know, Rinks? Is it Ludum Dare or is it Ludum Dare? I feel like it's Dare. I think that was the thing. I think I heard Rinks or someone in our circle say Ludum Dare, which is what I thought it was because I've never heard anyone say it. And Nate was like, no, everyone, are, everyone always says Ludum Dare. But I think that's just like probably a US thing. It's based on Lu uh, Latin, so officially Ludum Dare. Interesting. What is the Latin? Let's find out. <laughs> well, actually, this it might tie into what we've got going on today. It might. It's probably a story something. Ludus is translation into school or game. And. Uh, Dare means to give, so give game. I was gonna say it's Dare, just jam. <laughs> it's just game jam. We we just we're dumb. But it looks like it's ye old Latin word for jam. <laughs> to give, to confer graciously, give possession of, to give, to devote, to bring forth, to give birth to. Uh -huh. Give birth to game. Give birth to game. So the reason I say it might tie into today is because today's stream is themed around the Ludo Narrative, Ludo Narracon, which is the Ludo Narrative Convention, uh, which is a, a Steam focused event. Um, but it's 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 uh, it's one of those things that like I feel like started pandemic and you know 
I've continued on. Um, and it's a it's a, it's a, a little buzzword convention because uh, if you don't know, Ludo narrative is the compound of ludology and narrative. I googled it. Ludology is the uh, the where where was this one? Yeah, ludology is the study of games, ludic elements. I've never I, that's I know the term, but ludic elements. Mm -hmm. So that's really interesting. I guess maybe what if it came from ludum dare? I mean, Luda is game. Mm -hmm. It You're makes right. sense. It all yeah, makes sense. Latin. That's what I was saying. Uh, and uh, yeah, the, the way I've heard it, though, mostly is Ludo narrative dissonance. And more, more famously, the version of that is, say, in the game Uncharted. There's a main character who, in the gameplay, can run around and jump around and grasp on everything and get shot at a million times as long as he hides behind cover for a little bit he can heal back up and he's good to go but then in a cut scene a guy shoots him in the gut and he's like oh oh fuck oh you know and it's it's his life is over you know and he's and trying to get that insurance claim so you know? it's it's that it's where it just the the experience of the game and the experience of the narrative are just so like broken mm -hmm. um and so, I think, you know, a lot of people try to strive for ludonarrative harmony. And I feel like that's maybe what this whole event is about. I don't really fully... We, we can find, actually. Let's see. But yeah, I think it is just... Uh, generally, narrative video games. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's the fifth year. That's right. So, pre-pandemic. Pre-pandemic. I was going to say, I feel like I remember it. Let's see. You know what I missed on the list? I just saw it there, so it reminded me that wrestling with emotions game. Yeah. That one looks pretty fun too. Okay, I was just I was just, I'm, I'm just peeking around. Okay, so the the actual on their website says Ludo Narrocon is a global digital convention celebrating narrative video games. The talented people who make them and the fans who love them host it on Steam. The inaugural Ludo Narracon took place in 2019. God, that's five years. What? I hate that. Does that work? No. No. No, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. What the fuck? Math is weird. Math is, Time it's is so counting, fucked it's up. It's counting 2019. Really it's it's been four it. years. It's yeah. counting 2019. But it's in its fifth year. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it does make sense. Yeah. I'm just saying, it's not been five years. Yeah. Time we're is not... absolutely fake. Um, and then they go on to explain that Ludo of or relating to games and play, <laughs> Ludo narrative, the intersection between gameplay and narrative elements, aka where narrative meets play. And I think if we had to box ourselves up, Ludo narrative <laughs> folk, you know, narrative games are exactly what we're all about. That's us. Finding that Ludo narrative harmony is is key to a VGG ten. I feel like you know, that's why um, Immortality. I feel like definitely accomplishes that, and Chicory definitely accomplishes that. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's Ooh, such a look buzz. At you fancy pants. It's such a buzzy buzzy term. I love it. it was, I know the first I time the first time I ever heard you use that like when we were talking about VGG stuff. I was like. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know this. The first, it's one of those terms. It's like the first usage is documented. It was like 2007, you know, like it's not like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a new thing. Uh, and so it's, it's a really interesting. Uh, Bringing back Latin. <laughs> it's trendy. Yeah. Heyday of Anita Sarkeesian and just kind of that, uh, little, little more critical eye on gaming. It's, it's, and it started at the right time, right? It started like Mass Effect, like I said, Uncharted. Like it started when video games were maturing and kind of showing, you know, hey, we got we got stuff on a broader scale in, in games that are appealing to broader people. You know, obviously games have had this for a long time, but, you know, it was through those bigger budget, big uh, productions that really kind of showcase it but yeah we'll get going here in a second um how do we sound it's been a while you know making sure we sound okay <clears throat> <laughs> thank you 
Julie's Julie's advocated for us to to move on from this background. Not necessarily. <laughs> I just want to like clean up the layout at least. It's a little goofy. We just keep adding goofy little that's, things to it. That's the charm. I know, but it can still be <coughs> better. I know. Of course it can, but... It can always be better. We have so much we're always doing. I know. As today is an example of. I know. Um, lots of exciting things. We're going to probably today do a little screening of the video we did already. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have already seen it. Our most dedicated pals. Yes, thank you all. But we broke a hundred views on it today. That's a win. Yeah, yeah. Only like 104, 104, something like that is where we ended up. Um Yeah. Got a lot of fun stuff. It's it's a longer stream. We have mm -hmm. to stay up today. Uh Mom Toyd was in San Diego for a bit. We're gonna get her. We're gonna go pick her up. So we gotta be up late. So we figured let, let's stream late. Let's have some fun times. We're always like streaming early and then no one's there. And then everyone's awake at night and just doing nothing. And it's, you know, we're going to try this out. Hi, Crispy. Welcome, Crispy. Not you, dude. Oh, my God. This has happened several times now. When like, I Like every day now, this is happening. When I talk about Crispy... My phone thinks I'm talking about Bixby, which is the personal assistant for the Samsung phone. I can't say your name, Crispy. I guess I can't say hello and then your name. <laughs> Bixby can fight me. Because that's like the wake up phrase, right? Like, oh, thank you. Yes. Good, good announcement. Uh, we... You know, it will, I'm going to say that instead of we forgot, <laughs> we're going to say that we don't celebrate. Oh, oh my gosh. We don't celebrate present. Phyllis's gotcha day on the day because that day was terrible because she got out and I had to chase after her and I like busted up my leg and my chin and she was traumatized. She, she already had a shell and boy, was she deeper in it because of that. Um, it was a whole thing that and day. So we're going to say that we, we didn't celebrate it yesterday because today's the happier day. It's the, it's the beginning of bending those bridges and building our family today. So yeah, Phyllis's <laughs> gotcha day was yesterday, but uh, we're celebrating it here today and, and Crispy's gotten a... Crispy's celebrating it the right way. A fill tree time. Do you want to... Yeah, do you have it set up? <laughs> Let me get the baby. Where'd she go? Hey, guys. Find out what kind of treat. It is. All right, so we've got salmon and butternut squash. Woo, too bright. Salmon and butternut squash jerky. Crispy, we got blueberry and mint soft baked little heart treats. And we've got classic bone shaped pumpkin biscuits. I think they're like human grade. Yeah, they are. What is the treat for Phyllis? Many choices. Crispy is keeping them in mind. Salmon, butternut, mint, blueberry, and pumpkin biscuits. Again, are the options on the table. partially stalling because this is good crispy's taking a while too this is perfect because we Crispy's ordered gotta consult with the whole household we got boba yeah, and i got way. some food so i'm gonna you know take all the time for that to get here 
And we're gonna do a little bounce back and forth thing too. So I'll have time to sit here and sit in my corner eating fried rice. What do we think? I, it's, it's weird. I, now I'm seeing it, like I see it, right? All the time, but like seeing it on camera, little short hair boy. I was like down, I was down here. You it could, I could be like a little Starbucks mermaid. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Thanks. Still no answer. They're consulting the board. Consulting with the board. The chairman of the board. Is Asher. That's what they used to, when I was a kid. That's what my family used to call me. Because I was very much the kid that would be like, I'm bored! Because I just <laughs> wanted to go home and play video games, you know? And so I'd say, bored, I'm bored all the time. That's pretty clever of them. Salmon, butter, uh Oh, that's a good one. She loves her jerky treats. I have a feeling announcing that is going to lead to many three times, so I'll keep them... I'll keep them nearby. There's a cooldown anyway. And there's a limit of three anyway, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, well. Whoa. We just went through a black hole. <laughs> there she is. Miss America. This is from Christy, your best friend. Crispy treat. Oh, she's licking. She's licking those chops. Wow. She's had a tough day too, Crispy. So this is much appreciated. Glory, you picked the right time. So we were just, yeah, re-revealing that it was... A day late gotcha day for Phyllis, and so Crispy hopped in immediately with the treat time. Man, she ate that fast. Yeah, she did. Slow down, girl. Yeah, she had a tough day. She was scared of everything. I took her on a walk, and she was scared. But she's doing okay. She's doing okay right now. She's just excited we're all in the same room, I feel like. Okay, I'll take the camera off. Bye, Phyllis. I'm sure we'll see you again. Okay. Thank you, Crispy, for the Phyllis tree time. Should we get into it? Yeah. Phil tree time is where we get treated by seeing the baby girl Phyllis. We love you, Phyllis. I hope you're hearing all of this. You're beloved. Phyllis, I hope you're reading the chat right now. You're being praised Phyllis. so much. Phyllis, get in the chat. So rude. Yeah, you can go ahead and start because our Yeah, the, the basher slowed <laughs> down. A little bit. So we'll just go ahead and start here. Let's go over to the main screen. There we are. <laughs> I fixed all kinds of stuff over here. Within me? Over there. <laughs> um, the little ticker bar that we have is fixed. If it shows up, <laughs> it's not showing up suddenly. But uh, for a long time, it just had our cumulative like follows and subs instead of a monthly goal. Now it's not just gonna. Sh it's just not gonna show up. Sure, that's fine. Make me a liar. Why don't you? Um, and of course, we got the emo explosions uh, back on the... That was like one of the last things we updated before we disappeared. So we added the emo explosions to this this uh, screen. And, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? I was <laughs> like, what, what is that? What do you mean? What is, what is an we emo We had a new explosion? emo? Look at them go! Sometimes they just pop up. They just do, and then yeah. don't do anything, and I'm like, that's not fun. Boring. Bounce around, loser. Contact the the chairman of the board. 